Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, I am going to talk about NoSQL database. First, we will discuss what is NoSQL. NoSQL is an approach to databases that represent a shift away from traditional relational database management system, that is RDBMS. NoSQL database is a non-relational data management system that does not require a fixed schema. It avoids joins and is easy to scale. The major purpose of using a NoSQL database is for distributed data stores. NoSQL is used for big data and real-time web apps. For example, companies like Twitter, Facebook and Google. NoSQL database stands for not only SQL or not SQL. Types of NoSQL database NoSQL databases are mainly categorized into four types. First, key value pair based. Second, column oriented graph. Third, graph based. And last, document oriented. Every category has its unique attributes and limitations. None of the above specified database is better to solve all problems. Users should select the database should based on their product needs. First, we will discuss key value pair based. Data is stored in key value pairs. It is designed in a such a way to handle lots of data and heavy loads. Key value pair storage databases store data as a hash table where each key is unique and the value can be JSON, blob, binary large object, string, etc. Second type, column based. Column oriented databases work on columns and are based on big table paper by Google. Every column is treated separately. Column based NoSQL databases are widely used to manage data warehouse, business intelligence, CRM, library and catalog. Third type is graph based. A graph based type uh, database stores entities as well the relation amongst those entities. The entity is stored as a node with the relationship as edge. Graph based database are mostly used for social networks. Fourth type is document oriented. Document oriented NoSQL database stores and retrieves data as a key value pair but the value part is stored as a document. The document type is mostly used for CMS systems, blogging platforms, real-time analytics and e-commerce applications. Then we will discuss features of NoSQL. There are four types, non-relational, schema-free, simple API and distributed. Let's discuss one by one. First, non-relational. NoSQL database never follow the relational model. Never provide tables with flat fixed column records. Work with self-contained aggregates or blobs. Does not require object relational mapping and data normalization. No complex features like query languages, query planners. Second feature, schema free. NoSQL databases are either schema free or have relaxed schemas. Do not require any sort of definition of the schema of the data. Offers heterogeneous structures of data in the same domain. Third one is simple API. Offers easy to use interfaces of for storage and curing data provided. APIs allows low-level data manipulation and selection methods. Text-based protocols mostly used with HTTP, REST, 
with JSON. Mostly used on no standard based on NoSQL query language. Web enabled databases running as internet facing services. And fourth one is distributed. Multiple NoSQL databases can be executed in a distributed fashion, offers auto scaling and failover capabilities. Often ACID concept can be sacrificed for scalability and throughput, only providing eventual consistency. Shared nothing architecture, this enable less coordination and higher distributed. Advantages of NoSQL First point, can be used as primary or analytic data store. Second point, big data capability. Third point, no single point of failure. Fourth point is, easy replication. Fifth point, no need for separate catching layer. Sixth point, it provides fast performance and horizontal scalability. 7. Point, can handle structured, semi-structured and unstructured data with equal effect. 8. Point, object oriented programming which is easy to use and flexible. 9. Point, no SQL databases don't need a dedicated high performance server. 10. Point, support key developer language and platforms. Disadvantages of NoSQL. First point is no standardization rules. Second, limited query capabilities. Third, RDBMS databases and tools are comparatively mature. Fourth, it does not offer any traditional database capabilities like consistency when multiple transactions are performed simultaneously. Fifth point, when the volume of data increases, it is difficult to maintain unique value as the keys become difficult. Sixth, does not work as well with relational data. Second, the re learning curve is stiff for new developers. And last, Open source options, so not so popular for enterprises. Okay, thank you everyone.